Hey, eighth grade, this is going to be a very brief video about the progressive era and some of the stuff that we've talked about today in Zoom class and things we're going to be talking about. Now, I took some notes here, going to say some things. The progressive era is from about 1890-ish to 1920. Uh, it looked at social, political, economic, environmental reforms, a lot of labor reforms, and these reforms are changes for the better. So, for example, the Gilded Age was the, the reason why the Progressive Era happened. Had it not been for the corrupt millionaires and billionaires like Morgan, Rockefeller, Carnegie, uh, the, you know, we wouldn't have seen the changes that we saw in the Progressive Era. So, in an era where the presidents did nothing from 1865 to 1900, those presidents did nothing to get rid of child labor. They did nothing to promote life for the worker. They did nothing to break up the trusts. Those presidents did nothing. They let the millionaires and billionaires just control everything. And it wasn't until we had progressive presidents, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, and Woodrow Wilson, those are our progressive presidents who come in and they change the way the nation is going to move forward. They're going to be the ones that say, okay, enough, enough, enough is enough with the wealthy dominating these businesses and people. We're getting involved. And so men like Theodore Roosevelt, Taft, and Wilson enforced the Sherman Anti- they enforced the Sherman Antitrust Act. They enforced labor laws and wage worker laws, etc. So we also see that during this time period, a lot of political change, political changes, meaning we're going to see that there are going to be tests like TESTS -E that government employees are going to have to take to be qualified for the job, civil service reform under the Pendleton Act. We're also going to see amendments like the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th amendments that are going to be added to the Constitution, giving women the right to vote, prohibiting the sale of alcohol, giving the people the right to vote for their senators, and enforcing a federal income tax, which takes the citizens' money and then uses it for the government for their purpose. We're also going to see uh, a group of people who are just everyday normal people called muckrakers. These muckrakers are going to be the ones who are going to be literally going in and doing the research and digging up and exposing the horridness, the muck of what's really going on. People like Ida Tarbell and Jacob Reese and Upton Sinclair, who are going to literally expose the horrible working conditions, living conditions, and just conditions in general in America and expose them to the public and show people really how the poor live, how the immigrants live, what life was like for the factory worker, slum life. It was awful. And so they're going to be the ones who expose all of these horrible things to the public. And they're average people, kind of like Harriet Beecher Stowe when she wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, kind of like Matthew Brady when he took pictures of the Civil War and showed the nation what it looked like. These muckrakers will change everything. They'll lead to child labor laws. They'll gonna, they're going to lead to conservation laws, creating parks and forests and wildlife refuges. They're going to lead to Meat Inspection Act laws and Pure Food and Drug Act laws that protect the people. They're going to be the ones that limit and get rid of child labor. Um, they're also going to fix big businesses and get rid of political corruption. Just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean you have any friggin' power. That was kind of the idea they looked at in this idea. Now, one of the things they really wanted to do, the muckrakers and the progressives, again, progress meaning going forward, was to bridge the gap between the very, very, very rich and the very, very, very poor. Most of the very, very, very poor immigrants, those 37 million immigrants that came to the United States from 1880 to 1920, bridge the gap, create some sort of middle class. Also, the idea is that Jane, like a woman like Jane Addams, who created the Hull House, H-U-L-L House, she wanted to create social reforms and kind of create areas where immigrants could come, find a place to live, learn English, learn the American ways, and get a start in bettering their lives. It was also a place where the poor could go who literally didn't have anything. So reforms like taking care of everyone, especially those at the bottom of the barrel. We're going to see the Keating Owen Act passed in 1916. It's the reason why you guys go to school today, because no more child labor. 
We're going to see that we're going to get rid of the idea of kids going to work in factories, in mills, in mines, and that we're that the idea is that we're going to put kids in school. You're welcome. We're also going to see race relations. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington are going to publish books, and they're also going to create black colleges and universities. They're going to create the NAACP, the National Advance, uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 1909 during Taft's presidency. The idea that we need to also bridge the gap between the whites and the blacks and that there needs to be some commingling between these races and that we need to get rid of race t racial tension and, ro and laws. Um, another massive co uh, reform we're going to see is environmental conservation, the creation of national parks, national forests. Instead of just depleting all of the wildlife and killing all the animals and cutting down the trees for resources, maybe we should preserve this stuff so the people can benefit and enjoy it. I like that stuff. Um, and then finally and last but not least, we're going to see major political reforms, meaning the laws should be enforced. The people should be held accountable to the laws and businesses should be held accountable for when they go behind the government's back. No more paying off government employees so they can get their own laws passed and stuff like that. I hope you enjoy the progressive era. It's really interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff that like today is a direct impact of the progressive era. And we'll get into those details later. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, be good eighth grade.